So it's election time now, don't forget to go vote. But what you might want to consider is the whole fact that one of the main parties is saying how they don't want to go into any sort of coalition whatsoever there. Been there, done that, vote for us, for stability. Yet the two main parties, Labour and Conservatives main parties, have only about a third of the votes each and they need over 50% to be able to get that. So none of them are either going to get <laughs> there. So if you're voting for Conservatives, they're doing all this scam and going, oh, don't for that, for that party because they won't ever get in. They won't stand a chance of getting in. They won't get a majority. Yeah, they're never going to get a majority and they don't want to do a coalition. So they're never going to get in. So who's the real wasted vote? Surely that's the Conservatives then. And also if you look at the whole video I did last time with all of the policies, they have ones that don't agree with pretty much any of the other parties, whereas all the other parties have some in common. So you're more likely to get a coalition out of that that actually works because coalition with a government that doesn't want things the other parties want. Yeah, maybe you get a strong government with shit that you don't actually want going on. Is that really what you want? A strong party that has issues that you don't agree with and that don't help you out and they're really, really bad for the country. And also it turns out that the whole deficit thing was more Northern Rock going bankrupt and the government's getting their bills under control. So yeah, they wipe out everyone's benefits and all this sort of shit for their own things. It's not the country improving. Not the actual people of the country anyway, it's just them. They're getting their government money back, which they've overspent on silly little things like a billion pounds on the Blumange and all the other shit, the Millennium Dome, which was the world's biggest flop, and they couldn't even sell it to anyone who was interested. So yeah, all these other stupid little things that they did throughout the time. So that into your consideration and think what you really want to vote for. Vote for your policies. Remember, two thirds of people that don't vote, if they went out and voted, they could swing anything. So don't listen to the statistics. And let's go with my predictions because the statistics that they had before they started coming up with the statistics seem to vary greatly. So I'm going to say, what, 32% to Labour, 28% to Conservatives, about 17% to UKIP, 12% to Lib Dem, 8% to um, Green Party, and then the rest gets some. I don't know how they're coming up with the stupid number of 54 seats to the SNP when some of the news organisation was saying they only had 6 MPs, so they could only get 6 seats. And they're in Scotland, so I doubt you can really vote for them in England, and that would be the world's stupidest thing as well. I mean, yeah, let's vote for Scotland to not be part of the UK, and yay, that helps masses and <laughs> helps on the national level. Yeah, they've really got brilliant policies to help the whole country. No, you're really dumb if you're voting for that. Vote for something that matters and that helps you, like getting jobs and getting hours under control and not screwing over the young people and the future of the country for the sake of balancing the books and killing off people that probably have a lot to give. Yeah, because that'll just cause revolution. People will get pissed off and revolt. I mean, yeah, I've got my own thing under control. Well, I say under control, it's been looked at, but the government is still trying to fob their way off it. But yeah, make sure you go out and vote. Make sure you go out and Vote for something that matters to you. Don't care what the statistics say. There's never going to be a majority anyway in this thing. So vote for the things that matter to you and get your seat in your area under control. Anyone can swing it as long as you actually go out and vote. <laughs> Otherwise, it will never go out. And yeah, of course, all the Labour and Conservatives and majorities go and fill the statistics in advance saying, yeah, we're voting for them. And then people get scared off that uh, we can never swing this. But you can if you actually go out and vote, because those statistics are never correct. People always swing it widely, different to what they're saying and different to what they're trying to sell across as scaring you off voting. And it's, the main conservative thing has been scaremongering. That's the world's stupidest way of getting votes. Oh, don't vote for them. Boogly boo. <sighs> if you're voting for the scaremongering party, well, you're just... Mm. Yeah, 
I shall not comment on your intelligence levels, but I'm sure if you're going based on scaremongering tactics, then yeah. But if you're voting for the for other reasons, like you actually agree with their policies, good for you. I mean, that's what I'm saying to do. Go vote for what policies you agree on, not based on scaremongering. Don't go vote just because you think, oh, David Cameron's good Prime Minister, because he's not going to even be in charge for the South time. I don't think you're getting Boris either. He's not going to be Prime Minister. Someone else is going to be taken over. So, like I said, they might not even go anyway, because with the way things are going, it might not be the party that gets the most votes that goes into the coalition. So, yeah, you have to look who gets the strongest coalition votes. And they've already said, we don't want to be part of any coalition. So, take that on board. He's not going to make any deals with anyone. So, yeah, you're probably wasting your votes entirely. But go vote for who you agree with, whose policies you agree with, not who makes the best poster boy and isn't in your area representing you. Because that is just the stupidest way of doing things. But go vote. March 7th, or May 7th. May the 7th be with you. <laughs> Goodbye.